So it's June 2017, and I'm in San Jose, and I'm at dinner with my CEO and the CEO of my client, Sadaka Ramakrishna from Pulse Secure. And we're there talking about the great partnership and work we've been doing together for the past few years. And it's sort of a get to know me session because I'm new to the Pulse Secure account, but Sadaka is not new to Televerti. I had just recently taken over ownership of the account at Televerti. So Sadaka starts asking me the normal get to know me questions like, how long have you been with Televerti? Why did I choose Televerti? And it became clear that he wanted me to tell my story. So I look at my CEO with a look in my eyes asking if I should tell my whole story. And he just looks at me and he winks and he nods. Suddenly I flash back to early 2008 and I'm waking up from an amazing dream only to open my eyes and realize that I'm laying on a concrete floor, sleeping on toilet paper, using it to stay warm. And I turn around and I see still bars. And I'm brought back to reality that I was just sentenced to six and a half years in Perryville prison. I start asking myself these questions like, how did I end up here? How did I let my life get so out of control? Will I ever be able to get my kids back? Make amends to my family? Will I ever be a productive member of society? Will I ever be able to get a job that will support my family with a convicted felony? The fear of telling that version of my story to my new client hits me and I snap back to reality to the conversation with my CEO and him. And I know I have to tell him, but I take a deep breath and I just start talking. And this is what I share. I was a drug addict. My drug of choice was crystal meth. Drugs took away my entire life. I lost custody of my kids. I alienated myself from my family. I lost everything. And then I committed crimes. Found myself sentenced to six and a half years in prison. I went on to share with him that when I arrived at prison, scared to death, lost everything, my identity, my self-esteem, my self-worth, and everybody at prison said, go work for Televerti. It's a great job, it pays well, you're gonna learn a skill, you'll stay busy and it'll make your time pass quickly. So I knew I had to go get this job. So I went on to tell him that in May of 2009, I was finally eligible to go get that job at Televerti and go apply. And I was seriously nervous. But the women that already worked there, they spent time with me, helping me to prepare for the interview, helping me to prepare for applying for it, what the training would look like and entail, what the job looked like. And then I shared how ecstatic I was when I found out that I had the job. I got it after applying just the first time, which wasn't normal. And it was the first ounce of self-confidence that I got back, and I, I knew it was the first opportunity for me to start rebuilding my life. I went on to tell him about how at Televerti and my journey at Perryville with Televerti that all the way up to the CEO, to directors, to managers, to the women that I lived with and worked with, they all kept pushing me to apply for more opportunities, to keep growing, to go back to school, take college classes, get Marketo certified, until I had achieved the position of project coordinator for one of our top clients. If it wasn't for these people helping me, believing in me, pushing me, and investing their time in me, I don't know that I would have ended up where I am today. So after four years of working for Televerti in prison, the day comes that I'm able to be a free woman and go work for Televerti at their corporate office. I told Sadaka that July 5th, 2013 was a day I would never forget. It was the day that I walked out of those gates and I see on the other side, my family and my children there. And I have an overwhelming sense of gratitude because they stood behind me 
and they waited for me and they forgave me. I went on to tell him about an experience 18 months after I had been home where I had the opportunity to go back to Perryville Prison as a civilian. I was taking one of my clients out there for a call center tour. And I didn't think I would be nervous. I mean, I lived there for six years. I knew the place pretty well. But as I started approaching the front office, I felt myself start to get nervous, started to panic inside. My breath got deeper. My client asked me if I'm okay, and all I can do is nod. And the reason I was panicking is because I had this fear that I was going to walk up there and hand the officer my ID, say I was there for Televerdi, give him my last name, and he was going to call me by inmate number 227158. And how embarrassing would that be? I would lose instant credibility. But as I approached the front desk, and I approached the officer, and I handed him my ID, and I told him my last name, he didn't recognize me, not one bit. And I shared with him that in that moment, I knew that I was a completely different woman than the one that walked in those gates nearly eight years earlier. I went on to tell Sadaka that my passion today is that I get to go back to Perryville, I get to work with the women, and I get to encourage them, and I get to coach them, and I get to give them hope, and then I get to inspire them. I get to tell them that there's a new way of life for them out there, and they too can have an amazing life when they get out someday. I also went on to share with them that I had my children back in my life. I owned a home, I owned a car, and I was married to an amazing man who loved me for who I was today and didn't judge me for my past. Now after saying all of this, I just stopped. And there was a moment of silence when I was waiting for his response that felt like an eternity. And I thought to myself, is he judging me? Did I lose this account? Did I really mess this up for us? And then all of a sudden he said these four words to me. He said, you are my hero. He went on to tell me that he was so impressed and proud of all of the things that I had overcome and to achieve the level of success where I was today. Believe me when I say he's my favorite client of all time. <laughs> so Sadaka today is not only a partner and client of Televerdi, he's a friend and mentor to so many. He schedules regular quarterly visits out there to talk to the women that work for his organization about the recent book he sent them for the book club. He trains them on the latest Pulse Secure technology. He encourages them both professionally and personally. That is invaluable. He is telling them, I believe in you, you're worth my time, and you are capable of greatness. So my challenge to you today is to believe and invest your time in the people that you might think are the impossible task, but have what it takes. They have the drive, they have the passion, they have the perseverance, and sometimes just the pure grit to put one foot in front of the other when they're feeling down. The greatest gift you can give those people is to believe in them when they do not believe in themselves. Thank you.